Hello, welcome to TechShaman. In this session, we will learn about one more built-in function that is check. So for the same, here I have created one program that is check. So let's go through that program. So first of all, we are declaring two variables here on line number 10 and 11. That is a string that will hold my string. Uh, and it is of character type of length 30 and second variable is for holding the position so it is of numeric type of length 4 i have initialized these two variable with the keyword inz now from line number 13 the function syntax is written here that is percentage check then opening parenthesis after that we have to write a comparator so comparator is the thing uh, that uh, will be compared with the base string or the original string and if it finds something that is not present in comparator then it will return the first position of that non-occurrence character after one colon we can pass the source string and similarly as uh, scan we can pass the position start position also uh, for the operation okay so this is not a mandatory parameter but if you want to start your search from a particular position then you can put this value otherwise it will start from the very first position okay so on line number 15 what we are doing we are storing one string uh, some data in a string that is texture myth and on line number 17 we are using percentage check and for now i'm just passing h in a comparator so in a scan what it will happen like in a scan it will check the position for letter h and it return that position but in percentage check what it will do it will check this comparator and compare this with the string and if it finds any character that is not present in this comparator it will return its first position okay so it will start from here so first character is t so it will check whether t is present in this comparator list it is not present so this is the first non-occurrence character so it will return the position of that character so the output will be one so after that we are just displaying the string and the position so let's compile it and check whether we are getting the desired output or not So let's compile by taking option 14 and call it shows the string that is texture myth and after that it shows one because t is not present in that comparator list so let's change the comparator list and now i am writing t e so these are two characters that i have write in my or we will make it as a small e okay so now the comparator is te so what it will do it will check from first position so it find the first character as t so it will check whether it is present in comparator so it is present so it will not return its position and it will proceed for further character now it finds e e is also present in comparator so it will not return any position and proceed for the next character next character is c but it is not present in comparator list so that's why it will return the position of the first non-occurrence character that is c so position will be three so the output will be three here let's see so the save compile and call so the output is three okay. so that's how we can make use of percentage check built-in function to find the first non-occurrence uh, position or first non-occurrence character of the string so mainly what it do it checks uh, the data uh, the string and compare with the comparator and if the uh, character is not present present in the comparator list then it will uh, proceed it will return the value uh, of the first non-occurrence character and if it is present in the character list then it will uh, proceed for the next character okay so that's how we can make use of a percentage check built-in function to find the first non-occurrence character of the string. So yeah, that's it for this session. In the upcoming session, we will discuss a few more things. So thank you for watching TechShare.